I'm Kiram Benya, I'm a moral, I'm a dancer, and a video mix. So, um, as we go along the show, I'm sure I'll be able to catch up with some of the names. So far, I've picked up Moxie, Kisipo, yeah. Sizzle, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's interesting. I would love to know what is that. What, what, what do you mean when you say you are you a video fixer or you are a video fixer? Okay, firstly, I'd like to, to explain like how I end up in this industry. Okay, uh, when I matriculated in 2012, I went to study marketing, but I wanted to do media, but my parents didn't allow me. So I went to study marketing. I did my first year and my second year. I couldn't finish because of finance. So I had to go back home and then I fell pregnant. And then I had to stay home and raise my baby until my baby was eight months. Then I decided to come here in Jobek. Honestly, I didn't know when I came here, Uzi, what am I gonna do? Then when I came here, I was like, you know what, it's fine. I'm gonna start with promotions. Then I started doing promotions. And then along the way, I made connections. And then I started shooting music videos. I started getting bookings for MC. That's how I ended up here. And then after that, uh, this year, I stopped shooting music videos because I got it all with Ambitions. So now I work with Ambitions. I work behind the scenes. That's when I started to take uh, my, my agency series. And then, yeah, so far, so good. Okay, that's great. That's great. Uh, maybe on Roxy, your story, I mean, uh, how did you end up in the modern industry? What is the industry? <laughs> um, what inspired me? Uh, well, I just, you know when you're in love with yourself and you want other people to see you and to celebrate who you are, you know? Yeah. Uh, most of the times you would get people who would be like, why don't you be a model? Why don't you be a dancer? Why don't you do, you know? go into music videos, you want to feature. And at first I was skeptical, but I was like, you know, let me try it and see how it goes. Um, but yeah, and I'm loving it. If we know this many, there has to be you like, okay, let me try it. Recently, I was like, yeah, recently. Like two days ago? Um, <laughs> I don't even have money now. Yeah, yeah. And she, the people were like, you know, do it. I'm like, but I can't, I can do it, go for it. And yeah. But so so far, what do you think of the industry itself? Because I mean, I mean, many times when you look at uh, models, when you look at uh, mm -hmm. many women who have to appear on uh, music videos, mm -hmm. um, the perception that most people have is that they these are prostitutes. They're, they're selling their bodies at the end of the day. Okay, um, let's do this. People are always going to talk, whether you do good or bad, right? Um, Yes, they say you're prostitute or, but it's their choice. You know what you want to do and you know why you want to be a video victim or a model or a dancer. It's your choice at the end of the day and if, if it makes you happy, go for it. Mm. Wow. So, Michaela, okay. if you're to look at the industry itself, there are many other people who have come before you. Is there anyone in particular that you can say, oh, that particular person or these three particular individuals actually inspired me to get into the modern industry? Well, with me, I was in the league. There's never really a choice because uh, my mom used to be a model and I grew up, you know, you grew up in skinny and all that, so I was forced into the modeling. I was not in love with it or all that. But as it's like developing the last, let's see, your likes of Ronaldo, your clothes we see. And I was like, okay, this is actually a career. It's not just something you just wake up, or like you just go, okay, I want to look pretty, I look skinny, I'm because I'm skinny. But now there's plus size models, and they're beautiful, and you understand. So with me, back then, I didn't really understand it was a model. But now I understand, and I've developed a lot for it. And yeah, I would say Bonang really did play a role. Okay, well, wow. Well, well. <laughs> so, do you know Bonang's birthday? No. <laughs> I just like how she looks. Well, you like how she looks. And then the hustle is real. 
Okay. Yeah, but but do, you, do you think it's important when it comes to, especially the people that we look up to, the people that inspire us, just to know about them, their lives, when they were born? Then they after like if you really do that into that, you end up wanting to be there. I don't want to be her. She inspires me. Yes, I love her work. I love her hustle, but it's just like, okay, that's it. I don't really have to follow up on this person who see when it's her birthday, what does she eat for lunch. Yeah. So now it's going to be like, I want to imitate her. No, mm -hmm. I'm my own human being and I'm in love with myself. Yes, she inspires me. I love that and that, but she says it. Maybe there are on that note, uh, looking at probably the individuals that inspire us. Uh, and I've asked a very interesting question pertaining to knowing this individual as being perfect. Do you think it's important at the end of the day to celebrate these people while they are still alive and use their birthdays, like how we use them on the other day for good causes? I, you know what, it, it, it's right to celebrate that bit, whatever situation that's operating. But I don't think you should dwell on whatever they're doing too much. Because then you're gonna live the life. Hence, she said you're gonna live the life. You need to live the life. You don't have to be somebody else to be on that modeling thing. You need to be yourself. You need to represent yourself. Not represent somebody else. So, like I, I grew up uh, watching Kabulina. Then it used to be I think um, Zanzib for short. She used to be the presenter. She used to inspire me. But I never wanted to be here. I can be a presenter. I'm not a she's a presenter. But she used to inspire me. So I don't think you need to follow whoever you, you like or whoever you feel like she's the role model for you to that extent. I mean, correct, but I just want to add on to say, um, this is Mandela is totally different from from the yeah. yeah. model from, so yeah, from, from the industry. Like, there's a reason why they said there's a Mandela day. Yeah. There's no one as a hero no boy today. Yeah. Yeah. They're not heroes, yes. they're just human beings. Mm -hmm. He's also, yes, he's a human being, he was a human being, but he was a, like, he's a hero. Okay. I'm, I'm a hero. Hero. We can so love celebrities. They just celebrate. We can't be celebrating their birthdays. Come on, they're not even calendars. You raised something that is really fundamental. Yeah. That uh, you you are just these are basically celebrities. Yeah, yeah. Basically yeah. Models. yeah. But don't you think that you happen to be in this industry, you happen to be models as well? Can we use modeling to actually uh, secure the future that we want? Using modeling as a way of securing the future that we want. Using modeling to change the world, using modeling, modeling to actually touch other people's lives. I think we're getting there because there's yeah. a South Africa, there's a universe, universe and there's this and that and that. So I think they're trying to bring in and try to change that yeah. whole scenario. But uh, um, what you call it, this perception about people with models are just models. Mm -hmm. But now they're trying to put it to this earth, they're introducing it. So slowly but surely, we can't just do everything all at once. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Step by step, we'll get there. Maybe come uh, when you look at the industry itself. Obviously, it's an industry with uh, so many challenges. If you were to actually spell out the challenges that you have faced uh, as far as penetrating this industry, what would this be? What would be the, uh, the challenges that you encounter in your personal capacity? The challenges would be people's perceptions of us, firstly, and being taken advantage of, which would be the second one. So, with people's perceptions, is that now you feel like you have to act in a certain type of way because no, your your neighbor doesn't agree with how you, you're representing yourself on TV. So now you have to make a choice and be like, no, you know what? This I'm doing this for me. I know what I stand for. I know my morals. We are different people. What I like may not, may not be something that you like. So that's the first one. The second one would be people taking advantage of models in this industry because they they deem you as disposable. You know, you can be replaced. And in reality, we're actual people with feelings, and we need to get that paper, we need to secure the bag. We can't be mistreated. Right. Uh, yeah. Secure the bag. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and to add on that, I remember when I started the industry, especially people from home, they used to call me a prostitute because of how I dress and the pictures I post and whatnot. But I was like, you know what? I know what I'm doing. I don't care about them. And it was this, the very same people who were calling me a prostitute who were like, yo, Sizzle, you inspire us. We want to be like you. How do you make it? You understand? Mm -hmm. So what I'm saying is that follow what you want. 
do what you want. It doesn't matter. Yeah, do whatever that makes you happy. Don't listen to people. Follow your heart. Be yourself. Be yourself all the time. You'll never go wrong. So if you're gonna listen to people, trust me, you're not gonna go anywhere. Yeah. Never. Yeah. And to to add on that, you know what you wear, or rather what best represent. No, when we see on TV, but. I wear on TV. That's not you. Yeah. 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 So that's that's another thing. I could be wearing a lingerie and walking in the street on set, and you see me now. I'm I'm all covered up, and people will be like, "Why are you all covered up now? Because you like you're already like you're ready to show the world. Why should I wear lingerie? It's that then. Why should I do that? So I'm trying to say that what I wear doesn't determine who I am. Even if I wear shorts right now, it doesn't mean that I will wear shorts even on winter or what. It doesn't. It, oh, guys, I can go on and on, but what I want to say is that what I wear doesn't determine who I am. Yes. It's funny yes. how um, with exes, I don't want to say yeah, they, they, don't, they don't charge exes. Exes, mm. they will be naked um, on screens, but they don't expect them to be naked. Mm. Mm. So it's the same thing. We portray a character. We models. Yeah. It's just that we models, but mm. we also. Place it in role, yeah. a character, and then that's it. So more than a picture now. It's because really 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 when, when, when I'm on camera, when the state is all twerk, I'm it's part of acting. Thank I'm you. acting, you know. Yeah. So I don't so know why. And even the president is an actor, right? Yeah. No, yeah I mean, everyone. I, I, I believe he's down. He's down. Yeah. But the minute she's there, you need to play a certain role for acting. So. Because when they come to us, they need to give us the emotions. Yeah. So, the acting. so it's all about acting at the end of the day. After that, when the minute I leave on set, I'm me. It's a different like, scale. I'm so me. Even if I'm wearing those shorts, even if you saw me um, on the screen wearing shorts, if I feel comfortable, let me flaunt my body. I'm confident in my body. I'm comfortable with who I am. I don't care what the society thinks because the society will still judge you. Yeah. yeah. Be you, but you can't be, be you like that. Yeah. No way. Let me be me in my own way. Understand. Mm -hmm. And another thing, there's a song, the song of probably or there's a rapper is gonna sing about beauty. And how are you expected to show beauty while you're wearing your wardrobe? You should mm -hmm. show booty or it's booty. Money. Yeah. Reveal it. Because it says money. If it says money, show money. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. So I do not understand show booty then wearing your wardrobe or ring a suit or tied up, it doesn't make any sense. And yet again, the same people that are judging are the same people that are going to come to you and say, you know what, you did a great job. Yeah. yeah. Trust me. You. I think it's um, people judge what they don't know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not that good yeah. 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 And some yeah. that really want yeah. to be yeah. envy you because they want to do it, but they don't have the courage and the guts yeah. because they're scared of the society, they're scared mm -hmm. of being judged. So, so most of the time, it's people who really want to do it, but they're like, I'm just gonna chill in this shell of mine. I can't come out because when I come out, they will also call me a prostitute, like they call me the next, but the other person. You understand? Mm -hmm. So people should just leave their lives. Was, yeah, and those are the same people that usually commit suicide because they've got fear. They're hiding. They're hiding. They're yes. hiding. They're 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 hiding. they do you think that media is doing enough to actually portray what modern is all about and fear is coming out at this moment? And if not, what do you think needs to be done at the end of the day so that people get a better understanding of this industry and how uh, other people are actually uh, making a living out of this industry? Yeah, on that point, I was sitting there and was thinking that these people, they don't take us serious. I'm going to be honest. Uh, when it comes to being a bit of vixen when you're on set, these people they don't want to pay, honestly. They don't, oh, they pay, but it's not enough. I mean, we play a huge role because we're the ones who make the music video to look nice. And if I'm there wearing uh, a lingerie and people start judging me while I'm earning cents, you know, it doesn't make sense. They don't take it serious. So I was thinking that I actually need to, to, to step on this and let the world know that this is a job, this is a career, mm -hmm. and we also need like opportunities. We, we need opportunities to be brand ambassadors for Puma. Well, why not us? 
Why not mm. us? Because we're not actors. We're not actresses. Why? No, they they really usually that. take people who who, 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 who do oh, acting. Yeah. Why? Why not us? No, and the they're using the same faces. faces. They're using the the same faces yes. all the time. And yo, know, I don't like it. I don't. But I know I'm gonna step up and. Trust me, guys. We're getting there. We're getting I will. There. And you know, we're getting there, sweetie. I think the other problem is um, with our South Africans, because most of them are If you're not a celebrity, you're not allowed to be naked. Mm-hmm. You're not allowed to, 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 to be sure. allowed. That's why you're not given the opportunity, because they are scared. They, you, they bring a new person. What is um, the society or what are the people going to say? Oh, but she's me. I don't know her. We'd rather you see someone who's already famous. Mm-hmm. You understand? You can take Kanyebao. Kanyebao po- would post in a lingerie or in a G-string or in a naked. dog or naked. You understand? Mm-hmm. Oh, she's sexy. Oh, she's beautiful. They made a random model. Does that? Why is she not dressed? Oh, she's yeah. a person. She, she's yeah. she's yeah. seeking yeah. for attention. Mm-hmm. No. So I think it's still up to us to put it out there with you know we are also human beings we are morals hence we are here we also want to be known because they also started something mm-hmm. you understand mm-hmm. so we all we, we just need to fight for ourselves it's yeah. just that people don't have they don't they don't have knowledge about mm-hmm. what being a model is and what being a video person is they don't know the difference between the two and i think at the end of the day we need to take a stand as they have been saying and let the people know that this is what me being a video person does not mean being a party group. So it's knowledge. Okay, let's step uh, let's start with the model aspect. Okay. The difference between a model and a video person. Okay, m- model I'd say it's they there's a thin line. Models most of the time they represent a certain brand, right? Um maybe big brand, Puma, whatever the case may be, they represent that. You being a video victim, you're representing the artist. So it's 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 a movie. You yeah, play a certain movie. role for the artist, for them to yeah, show the, the yeah, you're yeah, a decoration. Yeah, you're a decoration. Or you're just an accessory to the yes. yeah, yes. You're just putting it the making the video look glamorous. glamorous. And then what else you know they find when they do your raps? There's a thin line between a video person and a prostitute. Mm. There's a thin line. Let's get into that. I'm trying to get into that. <laughs> yeah, <I'm sorry. laughs> because when you see me naked, when you see me naked on that video, I'm this. Someone is gonna say when I'm watching that video. Someone is gonna say, um, "I'm just gonna make an example." Ah, uh, we cross tapped CC4 because they saw me on that video naked. Mm-hmm. So they're probably thinking that I already slept with the mm-hmm. because I'm in bed with him, right? I'm decorating the bed with him, right? And they're gonna think that I already slept with him. Mm-hmm. You understand? So that's when they start not taking us serious, not. Okay, I'm not going to talk about the people that are watching the video, but the, the, with the directors. Because immediately when uh, an artist wants uh, to be intimate with you, and you start being fighting and all that, that's where the problem starts. Are you with me? I'm with you. Oh, good. I'm with you. Yeah. <laughs> so, because we see naked, we see as prostitute. So I have to think that there's a thin line because we are forever naked. Yeah. And yeah, in South Africa, if, if someone is naked, the prostitute. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And anyone can be a prostitute. It doesn't have to be a video. Video person. It doesn't have to. Imagine, a, let's say, a hip hop video with no girls. How is it gonna be? Mm. Or, or what's the whole point? Yeah. Of the video? The reason why <laughs> just imagine the girls. Just imagine the girls. So girls who are very important, we play a big role because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you need to embrace yourself. Because it was all that video is dope. If it's a city it's a video, it's not really dope. No, no, no. 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 Yeah. Yeah. You understand, it's really dope. Yes. You understand? That's why even with gospel videos, they go to church, they show because that's what they do. Yeah. You understand? So there's a difference. There's gospel, there's gospel people. They you would get gospel. And you'll never see a video of Victoria in a gospel. And there's they and gospel never like that. Yeah, true. true. No, true. no, 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 no. Why are they judging us? 
Yeah. So yeah, it's 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 bad. People just need knowledge. Yeah. yeah. So where where is knowledge to be found on modern and the career tools? This is part of it because we are life. We are, we are letting everyone to know that we are not prostitutes. We are models. We are video victims. This is a career. Yeah. Mm. We are professional, <laughs> not Very professional. We don't judge them. Because you know what happens? The minute you sleep with the artist, your reputation is done. It's done. You're done. 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 Like, you're not going to work. And remember, it's a small world. It's a small, it's a small, world. small yes. industry. I also think that the same is we're not saying that our people would not would all sleep with us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 There are pixels who actually do sleep with yes. us, but don't call everyone. Yeah. 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 Don't just don't put don't it on yeah. 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 It's a choice at the end of the day. Even yeah. those artists, they don't put it down in your head and say, come sleep with them. Mm-hmm. Right. It's a choice. Yeah. So you choose to walk away. You choose. Because there are men at the end of the day, they have feelings, they've seen your mm-hmm. brain, they will try something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's a reality today. Like yeah. now, as a human being, your moral, that's where they come in. Yeah. Sorry, I'm here to work. I'm yeah. not a prostitute. Yeah. Because I think that's where this whole thing comes from. Because they want to try it and they warn with other people. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, okay, I tried this and it worked. Mm-hmm. Let me continue. Probably every girl is like, no. Mm-hmm. Like, it's always yeah. like, because men always defend themselves as people are trash. Not mm-hmm. all men are trash. Mm-hmm. So it should, it should also be like that. It's not all fixes sleep around, you understand? Oh, yeah. And um, when was it? Uh, it was last year. Uh, my account was hacked. Okay, before it was hacked, um, there was a fake account with my name and pictures, everything on social media, both Facebook and Instagram, and then my account was hacked. So this person was posting my pictures, um, especially the ones that are wearing shorts and crop tops. So that person was posting all my pictures, saying that, hi guys, whenever I have a gig, I post on social media. If if I have a gig, maybe an MP, and then that person posts on that page and say, um, I'm gonna be an MP tomorrow. If you wanna have sex, come have sex with me. It's hundred grand, you know. If it was someone else, if it was someone else, I was gonna give up, you know. Yeah. But because I know what I'm doing and I'm not doing that. So you know what you're about. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, it's a rough. Industry. It is what it is. Yeah, it's, it's a rough is, world. It's, it is a rough industry. Yeah. 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 So you don't have a bed for you. Then you won't survive. survive. You won't survive. So you I still to remember. I think it was three months ago. When I posted on my status, I think every contact, every person that I had on WhatsApp, I was like, on my status, so now people call me a prostitute. And she's my boss. She's my boss. So she was like, Sissy, I thought we spoke about this. People are going to forever. Because I was like, wow, I'm a prostitute. I'm going to kid. My son is like three years and he's everything to me. So, I'm just thinking if my son was a bit older and he hears that my mother is a prostitute, mm. what would you him? Imagine if you and if you went to school, what would happen? Mm. And then someone was like, "Babes, we spoke about this. Not now. You you you're not gonna start. You know that you're not a prostitute." And then I was like, "Sissy, bro, come on now. You know that you're not. So why 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 bother? Like mm. why am I?" And then I was like, "Okay." Because he said to me, since I was there, I told you that my account has been hacked, I've been called names by my family members and everything. Mm-hmm. And when I kiss your family, is not judging you, you're being judged by people that don't even give you one day to buy a tissue. So why even bother? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, and you know, the other thing is people, they talk, right? And they don't think that you're also human. Imagine if someone says to you, you're a prostitute, they don't think that you've got a gold child. Yeah. They like how can you call me whatever you want, but let's not include our kids and yeah. don't family actually. Family like your parents just about in here, man. Yo, my children actually call. My children, you're from I'm from Mbobo, come in here, and then the next thing they say, no, Lavaki and Joel, she's a prostitute. Imagine it's gonna clash our parents. Yeah, I was need to think about that. The other thing is if. Okay, some some of us, you, your parents don't understand until you sit down with them and tell them you're a prostitute, right? And then they've accepted, okay, my 
that was my daughter, I'm going to see her on TV, whatever the case may be. And then, probably she's at work. The next person says, oh my gosh, she's a prostitute. With a picture. There's so many young girls out there. They watch TV. Uh, they see all these uh, artists, uh, yeah. models, uh, video fiction, the Beyonce's, and so forth. And you're, you're yourself, guys. Yeah. Yes. And they, when, when they see these people uh, on set, they'd be like, I also want to be like that person. Mm -hmm. What would you tell a young girl who wants to get into this industry as to the ins and outs of it so that she can remain focused on that particular uh, aspect of yeah. just doing what she's supposed to do? Okay. To like it? Let me make an example. For example, if my daughter would come to me and say, Mama, I want to be a model, I'll say yes, baby girl, and I'll support her. Okay. Because uh, when, I, when I started the industry, my aim was to work nothing less, just work. So I don't think there's anything wrong if someone asks for advice to be part of this industry, you know? Um, what I can say is that if you know what you want and you will grow from it. I mean, I started as a video vixen. Now I'm, I have my own agency and I book models. It's part of growing up, you know? Yeah, so I had a reason why I'm here. Okay, so let's apart from that, the only advice I would give to those kids out there, be you, do you, and focus. Mm -hmm. Don't let anyone bring you down. Because okay. the minute you let that in your your mind, then you're not going to make it. So keep on pushing. It's not so easy. So um, to add on that, um, I think having a management also helps. Because not everyone is, is brave enough. But everyone is a bad boy because there are people potential just because they didn't have the right support or the right manager in the industry. They fucked it up. I'm sorry, excuse my pun, but like, yeah. So the young girls, they must try to get an agency so that they can guide you until you are fully developed to, 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 to take care of yourself. Mm -hmm. And then they start the agency. Yo, like, and a lot, the industry is running too much. So mm -hmm. they want to do this. Mm -hmm. More especially with the lady, the last boy, she she dances, she does, she does all this. It's like I want to do this. I'm like, yeah, but I don't think you're ready because you're still a baby, and I'm not ready to be your manager as well. You understand? Yeah. So when you're at the right age, I'll take you to the right agency to take, to nature you. They'll nature you, and then you'll be able. Because I have my own stress as well, so I can't manage someone. You understand? Mm -hmm. So for now, get an agency and. That's it. And managing models, shame is very stressful. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> I don't sleep. Trust me. Every time when I book them, I need to make sure they are awake. In the morning, I have to call, guys, are you awake? Because when, I, when you get on set late, I'm going to look unprofessional, you know? So I need to make sure that I'm I'm pushing them, you know? So, yeah. And, you know, I had an experience um, when I was still new in the industry. Um, there was this other guy. I can't remember what got his numbers, but he, he wanted models for Edgar's. And then he was like to me, okay, please send me your pictures. And then I sent him my professional pictures. I was like, no, I want your pictures, like your naked pictures. I was like, why? Why are you naked? And then I sent one, a professional picture, but it's half naked. He was like, no, I want them, I want your, your phone pictures. Please take pictures with the phone. Oh my gosh, but you just imagine it. Uh, it can be it's a clothing brand. Why would you ask? Yeah, yeah. 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 So yeah. people yeah. need to be careful with yeah. their yeah. 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 mm. You claim so much. Too people much. even demand money from you. Yeah, yeah they do. Yeah. Because there's one thing I understand. Yes, um, there's <laughs> body painting models that um they don't they don't want they don't ask me this. they'll ask me a bikini yeah 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 because yeah, yeah. they just want to see the shape mm. even though because i've done body paint and when that guy asked for my pictures he gives the same thing he's like oh, yeah send me lingerie and i just want to see the shape so that i can understand you understand because yeah, they yeah they need they always looking for a certain body type because yeah. they do videos they don't always Looking for no. skinny, skinny girls. No, yeah. Yeah. they want girls with beauty. Sometimes they want girls. You know, sometimes they girls. They want girls with with boobs. Sometimes they want plus size models. You understand? Sometimes they want dark girls. Sometimes they want yeah, yeah. skinny girls. So, so they're always yes. specific. Mm. You mentioned the aspect of the body printing models. Yeah. I mean, just share with us your experience in that regard. How was it like? Mm. Body paint. Yeah. Um. Uh, well, because um, I don't know where to start. 
this um, this particular event I did for body paint, um, they were what was it? They didn't have outfits. So what they did is we they painted us like mermaids. So we had like black and then we had blue. Yeah. Of course they will cover your nipples and then you have if you're wearing black, if you go, they'll give you a gold underwear. It's not like you walk around naked, no. But it, you, you look like you're dressed. Because you can strip it. It's, I don't know how to explain it. You it's can like peel it a mask. Yeah, you can peel it out. So yeah. it's like they put a mask on you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. just put a mask on your body. Okay. And they just want to get that right. Because some kids suits, they don't sit properly. Mm -hmm. They don't show whatever they're the trying to mm -hmm. show or trying to advertise. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I really don't know how to explain body paint, but yeah, because um, the expos, um, like most of them, they like to do on like galleries, art galleries. So you have, you gonna be on their mannequin instead of getting a mannequin, they'll just get a human being paint you the way they wanna paint you, and then you just them. So yeah. later on, uh, the permission you have to go. Uh, people who want to get into the industry going through an agency and a registered one. So that's something that has ignited my mind to ask the question pertaining to whether there is actually an association for models. I've never heard of it. I've never heard of it. I've never heard of it. The thing is, that if you want to get into this industry, you have to do your research. Yeah. You have to go out there and then work. Like you won't find connections by sitting at home or hoping you, you, you one, know, day. one day, one day, one day. It's you have to your city looking for a job. Yeah. So you need to so go out there. Who is to pioneer this network of models, this association of models? I think we should start it. Ah, <laughs> <Yeah. my sister. laughs> so now you're procrastinating. <laughs> no, but I said, why well, not? And yeah. I'm, 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 I'm research with me, um, I used to I used to market myself on social media. Most of my gigs, like MC gigs, I got them through social media. That's what. Yeah, you need to market yourself and know your story on social media. That's why I was advising you guys to always post. If you're a model, make sure that 80% of your pictures are professional pictures. You know, mm -hmm. especially if you want to grow in this industry, because yeah. yeah, it's part of. Because now they're no longer seeing the pictures, they always have images yeah, in the yeah. mm -hmm. they just want to see, they want to see so, what you've done. So social media yeah. play a big role when it comes to industry. So maybe looking at the aspect of an association itself, mm -hmm. don't you think that an association would actually expose you to more opportunities if you had to come together as models and be like, okay, this is where we get to share experiences, we get to share insights as well as ideas as to how you can progress as individuals. I think also if something like that was to happen, it will help a lot because we will teach each other. We will teach each other um, about being a model. It will also help others who want to join the modeling industry. So I think it'll be a good initiative. Getting on that, because I've noticed most of most of um, um, newcomers, they send pictures wearing jeans, wearing jokes, wearing church dresses, <laughs> and they're like, Cizilla, please book me for a music video. I mean, music video is all about showing your skin. Mm -hmm. They need to see your skin, they need to, to see your shape. So if you're going to send me wearing a dress, a long dress, a big dress, and you'll be like, I want to be on the music video. I mean, the competition is very high. There are a lot of casting agencies. So you need to make sure that you need, you look proper. So I think that can work to, to teach other newcomers mm -hmm. how to dress up, how to maintain their bodies, you know? Yeah. Uh, I, to add on what you guys, I, I, I get to the idea, I get the point, but I think um, the reason you can never really succeed because Trust me, people have tried, but I, I think um, we, we need to go ourselves first. Yeah. You know why? Because um, let's say you start, you've seen the, the chaos that happens in the group. Because someone is coming with their mentality, I've already made it to my, in my people. Mm -hmm. So now they're trying to prove a point. You see, no, I'm done, listen to me. No, listen to me. So people are just pulling. So we still need to be matured first before we can bring in other people and try to, to, to grow other people. We need to grow first in the industry and then be humbled because some of us are just 
over. All over. But they, they, they tried on like the, those, the, the groups out there trying to try this thing with the guys. Let's help each other. Let's help each other grow. And she'll find people who are big headed. Yeah, that's true. And so it never, it's all the ladies. It never really works. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you always say it's ignorance that probably leads to people failing to come up with associations. Yes. Yeah. Yes. You need to grow first, <clears throat> mature, and be humble. Then you can. Because you know how are, ladies. But then, uh, don't you think that waiting, waiting to grow, waiting to grow, uh, I think it anyway. depends on you. Because, mm. like, honestly, when I came here in Joburg, they didn't trust me. They thought I was going to be all over the place. If you know what you want, trust me. If you know what you want and you know what you want to achieve, there's no way that you can be all over the place, you know? If I know that I'm hungry and I need I need to get the job done, I don't have a choice. Understand? Yes. Yeah, so I, I, I presume you probably the first one in your family who took the route of modeling. Yeah, I'm the first <laughs> one. So, <laughs> the first part of the one you go to the program. There's no one within your family that can advise you. That can advise me. Yeah, I assume this 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 you are the first one in your family. Yeah. And there's no one else in your family who has gone down that road. Yo, I'm gonna so where would you go to for advice? I'm going to be honest, Shane. I don't know how I am, but looking at my background, the things I've been through and the things that I'm going through, I always try to, to, to speak to people that are in the industry, people that understand this. Because trust me, you're back home, my family, mm -mm, they don't vibe with this. So let me, let's do this. You came to Jobek. Yeah. You have to go back home and you have to speak to your grandmother and say, I'm a model. She doesn't know what a model is. Where do you begin? Okay, with me, it's different because when I was growing up, I used to do this thing um, a drama thingy. Mm. So, yeah. But as, assume she's not exposed yeah. to modeling mm. and you have to tell her a story of a model. Oh, well, what I did mm -hmm. next became my, my mom was in the world, but mm -hmm. still my green didn't understand. Mm -hmm. It's even worse because my mom was just a catalog mom. I went beyond to reviews, to promos, to the answer. So, and for her, to, she, she didn't really care about it. Like, until she got this call that I'm a prostitute, and then she called me. She's like, I, I hear, I'm hearing that you're a prostitute in Joe. What's happening? And the funny thing is, I stay with my mother. So I was like, um, I'll come down and explain to you. So what I did is I've collected all the work that I've done. When I got home, I showed her, I'm like, this is what this is what I do. I showed her the videos I've done, I made sure she watches, and I and when she asked me, okay, so how do you do this? I'm comfortable wearing the painting in front of these people. Where are these people when you are yeah, because so, I think that's what they want. They want to understand if you are safe or not. Mm -hmm. Because she asked about safety more, more than anything things that I say. So mm -hmm. whenever you are there, is this is men only, other girls, and so I had to like, no, this is what happens. And whenever I'm shoot, I either I get booked with different girls, like five girls or two girls or one girl. But if I'm alone, I'm always safe because I let my mother know I'm booked by an agent. So they wouldn't try anything funny. Mm -hmm. There's a director, there's an artist, there's this, there's that. So they don't really try to do anything funny. And now she's okay with it. I'm mm -hmm. sure she even asked that you sneak drugs. Yeah, she did. 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 Yeah, yeah. 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 I'm hyper naturally. I don't take drugs or anything. Even with her, I told them, like, you actually, because she's the one who raised I'm like, you raised me. Oh. Yes, I drink, but like, uh, drugs are just one thing that I won't give you when I try. Yeah. And it's just like, okay, but even when you drink, you know, drinking, do you? Take, like I think it's all about safety when we when, yeah, when they ask think, about this thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now she's okay. She even asked me, "How is it going?" Then is like, I'm like, "Yeah, everything is fine now." And then she's yeah. like, okay. Okay. "What's the link between models and shopping?" Shopping is for anyone. It's for yeah. you. For him, it's to celebrate for anyone. It's like it's, it's like a whole yeah. I think the reason they associate it with morals is the class they put into it. Yeah, because yeah. 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 um, morals. It's so rare to find a, a lady here carrying a cognac. Okay, well, I'm a cognac person, 
So, but mostly models, because even when they advertise, they use models. Mm -hmm. So I think that they're associating it because of the class. Mm -hmm. Understand? Because they wouldn't take um, a video of expense to or or Kali B to um, to be the brand ambassador for Champagne. Because now they're trying to sell it to these big people like your presidents or whatever, your princesses. So they will get someone who's you know how models work. They have this. So I think it's the class. <laughs> Otherwise, it's yes, you one. As we round up, you know. Uh, the idea of agency being what do you think about it? Your question was <laughs> the idea of being here. Of agency being the name of yeah, the name. When you first said the numbers one eight seven three, what can you mind? Yeah. Huh? You. I just thought of the okay. yeah, yes. young people. All right, yeah. and anybody else? Yeah. So you was happening then. All of you were on the. I thought vintage because. Yeah. Okay. Why not 19? Mm -hmm. It's used to be 19. Mm -hmm. I was like, and I saw the walls and I thought everything looks fresh. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's. I don't know. Something. Okay. So basically, um, the name 1873 was inspired by the fact that in 1873, Africa was born. Mm -hmm. So in coming up with the name uh, for the name, for this association, the members chose numbers. Those numbers they connect individuals as well. And like a name, imagine a name like Africa uh, Business Society. It limits you to Africa. Yeah, yes. But because we have a borderless mindset, what we share is a borderless mindset that you can do business with anyone without any hindrance. So if you if you are aware of the partition of Africa and stuff, it happened in 1884. And we're like, let's choose the year before 1884 when Africa was borderless. And 1873 was the, the year that yeah. we picked. Oh, wow. And also in 1873, there was a, a trader from East Africa. He was already doing business in Europe. He was a merchant, basically, he had his own ships. And if you take the numbers, 1873, the first two numbers, one plus eight, one and eight, if you add them, what do you get? You get nine, right? Mm -hmm. You get seven plus three? Ten. Ten. The difference between the two numbers? Wow. Is it one going up or one going down? From nine to ten? Going up. One going up, right? Mm -hmm. So it depicts the power of one. One is individual. Oh, yeah. The individual yeah. is a driver of change. Mm -hmm. So change begins with? As, uh, uh, you. Me. Me. I said I, you, me. I just say us. <laughs> <laughs> you can say us. We are a team, right? So we are a team. Yeah, a team. But, but uh, change, 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 change doesn't reside in a team. Yeah. There's nothing like group hunger. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's <laughs> nothing like one of us can go to the bathroom for all of us. Thank you. So you're, you're also right when you say us. Was I in the us? <laughs> <laughs> so, and if you take that uh, number one, if you were to place it horizontally, what does it become? It, be, it becomes, if you take the number one, mm -hmm. then, you it, then you put it horizontally. It's a minus, it's a negative move. It actually becomes a dish. Mm. It's a way. You see? Uh -huh. You go to a, to a symmetry uh -huh. and look at the two tomatoes. What's, 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 what's prescribed on a tomb? Oh, okay, yeah. all right. So, yeah, I get that. I so, the nine happens to be the date of birth and the ten date of death. Oh. And in between, the death starts your life. And you see, it's a continuous straight line. If there's no break, when yeah. you, life there's no break. Mm -hmm. You don't die for two hours and then resurrect. Yeah. Yeah. Though some one person if you die many times and resurrect. Yeah, it was not two days. It was not now. But you hold it to that. Yeah, but it's not the time. Before you call it a, a rap, maybe uh, it says, oh, just for the benefit of those uh, who are viewing, who mm -hmm. also want to take up a career in modern, you have started in the agency, and I'm sure when you leave here, you also going to start an association, the 1873 Modern Association. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, take us through your agency. 
and how can people be able to get in touch with you if they want to be part of this uh, agency? Okay, my Instagram handle is sizzle underscore manizzle, and then my casting page is called sizzles underscore castings. And um, I think I have my numbers on my page. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do on my profile on the casting page. And Facebook is Sizi Lemasan. Okay. Twitter is Sizi underscore M. And the recipe you can also share with the world your Instagram. And also the Twitter page so that they are able to follow it. Yeah, I mean, follow it. underscore M V E M Y A on Instagram and Facebook it's Kella Sims, K E L A S I N Z. And I am Galva Samson, K A B O underscore Samson, only on Instagram. Uh, I'm Lara Thomas both on Instagram and Facebook. Oh, and I'm on Facebook, I'm Sissy Paul Macabo Muso. That's on Facebook, and then on Instagram, I'm Sissy Paul underscore Facebook. Okay, um, Facebook, Noxy with an I, uh, Gunene, and then Instagram, Noxy with an I underscore Gunene. Yeah. Well, ladies, I thank you so much. Facebook, Instagram. LinkedIn, uh, Twitter, everything, everything, even Google. Maybe before you go, uh, I think there was one question that Tinashe asked from in the beginning, right? Of saying, do you think media is playing a positive role in actually showcasing the career of the model, speaking to the ideal of the media and the fiction? Would you guys be interested? in being the voices that speak to the idea of being a model, video fixer, whether it's in, in writing, whether it's in doing radio shows, TV shows. Of course, yes. because we want to be loved. We want to be watched. We want to have this knowledge. We are tired of being criticized. OK. Yeah. So and we, we want started. to teach our parents to allow mm. the, their kids, yeah. the upcoming future. Mm. Yes. OK. So who's interested in radio? Being on radio. I talk too much. Okay. All of them. Okay. So we begin with radio. Say 15 minutes. Um, so we'll give you guys 100 hours. I think this year we're celebrating uh, the centenary, right? Yeah. yeah. Also Mandela. So let us have um, 100 reasons to be video vixens, right? Let us have 100 hours of radio starting tomorrow on radio um, where you guys speak to the idea of being a model. It's also a career for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Some will look at you and say this is an entrepreneurship um, space, right? Mm -hmm. So let's speak to the idea of being a model. 15 minutes. We put up 100 hours mm -hmm. on radio. Yeah. Okay. You good with that? Yes. Starting right. from tomorrow? Starting from tomorrow. Okay. Tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning. Yes. Over the phone. We'll call it, yeah. We'll call one of you in the morning. Okay. Do you have a WhatsApp group? Yeah. Yes. yes. And I do have other models that yeah. were interested, but they couldn't make it to Yes, sir. No, it's fine. Um, I think you can add you can add me on the group as well. Then we we'll start chatting. Add Tinasha. Okay. And then let's start chatting. Um, let's see how we do this. As well as um, 1873 TV, wanna create content. So if you guys could content ideas, what can go on TV. Let's share those ideas there. And then let's let's see. And also running a competition, um, 600 words of what it means to be a model. Mm -hmm. If your story gets 100 views, uh, 1,000 views, you win yourself 500 brands cash. Oh, wow. OK, so <laughs> your story will be published on the 600 words, yes, on what it means to be a model. Also today things that you spoke about. Okay. Can you convert that into text so that those who didn't attend can read and say, wow, we missed out. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll post that on the 1873 TV website. And 1,000 views, 500 bucks. That's not thing. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it until you start writing. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you. So, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. To our viewers, 
thank you for making the 1873 TV your channel of choice, your vision, your power. And ladies, thank you so much for giving up time on the Sunday where most people would be chilled and not popping bottles. <laughs> so that you could just share with us your uh, experiences as well as uh, insights as far as uh, modeling as a career is concerned and also being a future person. Thank you so much, ladies, once again. Thank, Thank you very much.